Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rania in the Kitchen. If you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe, like and leave a comment. So today I'll be showing you how I make mandazi. I normally take this mandazi mostly during the weekend when I have friends over and in the evening when I'm taking some tea if I have them at hand. So let me take you through the ingredients so that you can get started. I have some all-purpose flour here. I have some sugar, egg. This is the normal blue bun. If you have butter, you can use, it's still perfect. Some warm water, uh, baking powder, and I have some tea masala. So I have some tea masala here, as I mentioned. So this tea masala is, to, is for adding some aroma and some flavor to my mandazi. So that when you take that bite, you can feel the aroma of that, the mix, the combination of this, so to be the mandazi. So when you bite, it just feels so good. The aroma, the taste, it's just ha, ah, oh, like, it's so nice. That's why I always use my tea masala. If you don't have tea masala, you can use lemon zest, orange zest, um, some cumin if you have them. Just use a little, still add that taste and that aroma to your mandazi. You see, like different aromas, different smells. Like for me, it's, it's, a smell is something bad, but it just ile harufu, harufu nzuri. Now that's what I want. I want it to like smell nice. Yes, that's why I'm using tea masala. And as you all know, baking powder is to make our mandazi fluffy and not too hard. Because I'm not using um, yeast. I'll use that next time. So this is the simplest of them all. Even your daughter or your son, as long as they're above six years, they can do this. So let's get start by mixing the dry ingredients. So. I mix that I'm going to break my egg this bowl. so the reason why I do this is to confirm if the egg is okay or if it's spoiled I just throw it away and get a new one so I just eat it can see the blue band and the flour and the sugar they have incorporated well nicely you can't even tell unless you've not done a good job so yeah so this is how you want it to be and then from here I'm adding in my egg I have some warm water I'll also add in a little so for the water you add a little at a time so that you don't end up putting more than you require so making this mandazi it's nothing fancy it's simple, no need of using mixers or what, just use your hand. Be that African woman or man. Get your hands dirty. 
but you see now this one will wash off it's not the other dirty So our dough is ready, I've worked on it long enough, so I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to clean up the surface, heat the oil, oil. <laughs> that's the Africanness in me, heat the oil and then we come back and uh, cut our dough into different shapes. So my dough has been resting for about 10, I think 15 minutes now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sprinkle some flour, this is the flour I was using and uh, yeah, this video is not sponsored so don't worry, I'm just showing you so that you can know. So this is the flour I'm using, I'll just sprinkle here a little and then I'm going to take half of my dough, flour on top of the dough. So I am 
just going to cut the dough prepare all of them and then I'm going to show you how they'll be looking like when I'm done before we move on to the next them all of them to look alike well bravo but personally i can't but what i know i can do is make them taste nice so if you can do that as well still fine so they have been sitting here for about three minutes so we're going to move on my oil is ready it's nice and hot so we're going to deep fry them and then they'll be ready for service and i'm going to make some really nice hot tea that i'm going to enjoy my mother. My oil is nice and hot, so I have some few of the mandazis that have cut the dough that had cut if they are here, so I'm just going to add them in here. And remember as you add them, be careful so that you don't get burnt. And because the oil is hot, you just put it away from you. So you're going to add all of them, and when you finish, make sure you reduce your heat to low heat so that they can cook through nicely. ready this is the color that i love if you want them lighter it's well it is up to you well and good but i don't think you can make them darker than this the moment they are darker than this they are burnt so yeah you either get this color or lighter and yeah so voila So guys, as you can see, my mandazis are ready. I love the color, the aroma is just mwah. It's everything you need to start your day with and finish your day with. Just in case you love some tea like me. And uh, let me know how you stand out. Tag me on Instagram, hashtag Chef Rachel Gunia. Show me your mandazis, how they turn out. I'll be waiting for that picture. Let's make this more fun. Maybe you're better than me when it comes to giving these mandazis nice and good shapes and uh, yeah I am not an artist but maybe you are and you're better than me I'll be waiting remember to subscribe like and leave a comment and I'll see you next time bye